A race car travels 97 meters while it accelerates from rest to 28.2 meters per second. Uh, what is its average acceleration? Now, average acceleration is the one that's actually very easy to calculate if we're given the initial velocity and the final velocity because it's simply the change in velocity over the change in time. However, we are not given the time. We are given the displacement. So what will be better to do is rather see what do we have. We have displacement, so we write that down. The change in x is 97 meters. Then we're given the, oh, it accelerates. We're not given the acceleration. We want to calculate it. It accelerates from rest. Oh, that's cool. They give us the initial velocity from rest means it was standing still. So it was at zero meters per second. Okay, to 28.2 meters per second. So we have the future velocity as 28,2 meters per second. Okay, what is the average acceleration? So here we go, we need to find A. So we need to go and look at all the formulas containing A that also contains VI, VF, and delta X. Okay, this one doesn't have A, that one has A, but it doesn't have delta X. This one has a, uh, VF, vi a and delta x so we know that is going to be our formula let's use it so there we go we have our formula let's change a bit of color we have our formula future velocity squared is equal to my initial velocity squared plus 2 a delta x let's substitute now okay substituting gives me my future velocity is 28 comma 2 squared is equal to 0 squared plus 2 times acceleration is what we need to calculate and delta x is given as 97 meters okay now we solve using our calculator before we do that actually let's just solve a as it is so we can go and solve a by simply dividing both sides this is just going to be 0 dividing both sides with 2 times 97 2 times 97 is 194, so I have that A is equal to 2, 8, comma, 2 squared divided by 194. That means my final answer is 28.2 squared divided by 194 equals 4, comma, 0, 9, 9 would be 0, 1 meters per second squared. Cool, let's go into that answer. So we have that we're using this future value, future velocity squared formula. We've already selected our correct formula. Now we simply put in our answers. We know initial velocity was 0, future velocity 28.2, delta x is equal to 97, Delta T okay, was not given. Acceleration is what we worked out in the end. So when we substitute, no matter how you substitute, you can, for example, substitute this step before we've, we started dividing. Or you can even substitute this step. We'll also give you um, the marks for this, point, for this question. So I'm going to use the first one where we said 28.2 squared is equal to zero squared so you can see I'm just substituting perfectly into my equation 2a 97 preview says my syntax is okay that looks correct accordingly and now if I put in my final answer a is equal to 4.1 meters per second squared perfect